Buongiorno, buonasera. We are going to Italy today, to Venice. Mr. Adriano Celentano, thank you very much. Do you know this song, Azzurro? It's the, the story of a couple and um, he's doing nothing, he's going to the beach all the time and she's working, she's working hard. And, and he's just singing, telling Mazzuro, the sky, the, the sky is blue like the Azzurro, because we are in Italy and we can do whatever we want because it's Dolce Vita. Hello everybody. Yes, today we go to Venice in Italy. We go to visit um, an artist from the Invisible Dog. Um, her name is Anne Maurier. <laughs> yes, I know. Um, her name is Anne Maurier and she's been stuck in Venice. Um, because the situation for now two months and um, so I, I asked her send me recipes and we'll do your favorite Venetian recipe so she sent me three recipes um, and uh, that's what we are going to do the whole week together and today it's a recipe with fennel anchovies butter and parmesan cheese very simple and what do you need a knife a skillet or something like that similar to that some water and we are good we have a special special guest today this this <laughs> this, this little man here you know who made that it's um he's made by my lover, Steven, who is um, behind the camera always, all the time. And I will tell you at the end of the, of, the, of the class why we have this today. He's making something very special for his birthday. So, Anne, if you are with us, we send you so much, so much love in Italy, in Venice. I hope you're doing okay and everything is fine and we can't wait to have you back um, here in Brooklyn. Um, go visit her Instagram or her website, her work is absolutely fantastic and amazing and every day she's posting images of Venice and, and it's really, really beautiful. Okay, you ready? I am ready. Anne is with us, by the way. Anne is here? Yes. Oh, yes. hi Anne. Okay, so first thing to do is to um, prepare the... Very busy here. To prepare the cheese if you can do that at home it's always better you buy fresh parmesan like that in the food processor like that a few minutes while Because your parmesan will be more fresh and uh, much more flavor and savor than the one you buy in the store ready and it's been there for weeks already and it has dried. Look, this one is really moisture and very good and you keep that for later. Now, how do you know how to cut a fennel? Very simple. Knife, panel, here, up, just like that. Hmm? Very simple, you see here? Yes. Yes. And you keep that because with this, with this guy, here, that, you can use that to cook fish or 
to flavor any any um, vegetables. So keep all of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now you cut your fennel like that. Yes. Okay. In two parts. And then with a small knife, you are going to remove this triangle here. It's always extremely clear. You see, you see the triangle? So, like that, like that. And now you go below, and the triangle is gone. That you can throw that, don't eat that. And you can remove also the leaves on the top. You, you see if they're a little bit brown or it's not perfectly nice, you can remove them and garbage. Same for this one. Up. Up. So while we were talking about Venice uh, with Anne and the recipe she wants to do, I was thinking this weekend why I love Venice so much. And actually, three stories came into my mind. And since we have three recipes together this week about Venice, I'm going to tell you one story each time. See, cut that. That's better. Let's remove this one. Okay, before the story. And now you cut very thin. It's very important to cut them very thin because that way it will cook much better and And it will be much, much easier to, 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 uh, to cook and the taste also will be better. Wait, did you say what you're cooking today? Oh, I didn't say that. I don't think you said oh, that. Oh, the, it's called, it's called uh, Finocchio in Umido. So um, if you translate straight, it's fennel stew. And Umido, it's a technique to cook Vegetables. I, I think don't think you said it. Did you already say that? No, maybe I didn't say that. No. <laughs> I think you just started cutting them. Yes. I'm too excited today. I'm very, very excited today. You know, it's, it's Tuesday. We are back and it's a new week. And uh, I think we did cook something um, a few weeks ago, maybe. I said, uh, when you can't breathe, it's... Choking. Cho yes. Not, not choking. Choking is that, right? When strangling? You... No, not strangling. A l'étouffé in French means. That means with a little bit of water. Okay. So when you did that, take the plate, put a little bit of water on the bottom, and you start to display the fennel, just like that. Slice by slice. I told you who we were listening also? No? Adriano Celentano. Very famous Italian singer. Very, very famous and great. Adriano Celentano. You can see the plate here? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. okay. Now, take the anchovies. One here. One here. And one here. Voila. Very nice. And then I need... And I want to remind you to tell the story. I'm sorry? I'll tell the story. Yeah, yes, the story is coming. Butter. So you can use regular butter, like um, um, 
Here I'm using a butter I made a um, long time ago with, um, I told you already that, with herbs. When you have leftover herbs in the, in the fridge and they start to be like, for example, this one, the one we just cut. You take, um, some, uh, you take some butter, you let it uh, get room temperature, you mix the herb with, and that makes a delicious butter with herb. So you put some butter here, like that, like that. Remember, if you have questions, you can ask a question to Stephen on the comments and he will tell me. And now you put some Parmesan cheese on it. Like that. Good. And let's go for the second layer. Trust me, it's already delicious. More. So you put them round, huh? like that, like a um, crown. Oh, okay. Maybe I can start a story about Venice now. So three stories. Stories number one. I told you already that my parents, both of them, were born and grew up in Egypt. My father was born in 1914 and my mother in 1926. And uh, in 1951, they had to leave Egypt because the Suez War and they moved to France. And in 1981, they decided, so, sorry, one layer of um, fennel. Let's go back with the butter. So in 1981, like almost 30 years after, they decided to go back to Egypt, at least to see um, how was the country, the country they were born, the country where they grew up, the country of their history, their roots, Everything. We know most of us what it is to be migrants. So they decided to drive, uh, to go to Egypt with their car. And from Marseille, in the south of France, where we were living at this time, they took their car and they drove to Venice. And from Venice, they took the boat to Alexandria. And I was 16 at this time, so my parents were leaving and I was alone, I was not going with them. That was a decision we took together. And um, I remember perfectly well my mom called me from Venice. And it's really an episode I forgot. I never thought about that until maybe yesterday. And my mom called me from Venice telling me that they were spending a few days, they spent a few days there and they were about to board the boat to Alexandria. And I remember her voice was a mix of someone extremely happy, but also someone extremely anxious, because again, 30 years after, um, it will be probably a surprise for them to discover the country. And I remember this perfectly well, this phone call. And, um, and it was really moving to, to remember it. All right, next one, the second half. Um, someone asked if you were Jewish. Yes, both of my parents are Jewish and I am Jewish too. So this is the third layer? 
This is the third layer, yes. Third layer. You can cut your um, your um, your fennel with a mandolin also if you have that. That's good. Uh, press a little bit. Uh, let's add anchovies. If you love anchovies, you can add much more anchovies, of course. A little bit of butter. Butter is never enough, I remember. There's nothing better than the butter. Voilà. Again, a layer of cheese. Up. And now, It's the first time I'm doing this recipe. I've never did. Oh, oh you're doing it. This is the you first while you're doing you live. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's absolutely the first time I'm making it. I never did that before. Actually, all the recipes of this week, I've never done them before. So it's also a discovery for me to do that. And um, the end of the story is my parents so went to Egypt. They stayed, I think, a month there. And right after they came back to France and they decided to move for good again um, in Egypt. And they left the whole rest of their life here. My father is buried in Egypt and my mom left Egypt in 2000 and came back to France because we asked her, we said, you can stay by yourself there. And she passed in France. And the funny fact is like, she was buried just under a palm tree. Exactly, exactly. There was one palm tree in the cemetery and the spot was just there. And the palm tree uh, reminded us Alexandria because there are palm trees everywhere. Hmm. Et voilà. And since you're doing very well. Are we crying? What? What did she, what did she, she say? Said, <laughs> she said, said you're doing very well. I'm doing well. Oh, thank you, Anne. Thank you. Okay? Look. Clean. Remember to clean. Huh? Always. Always work on a clean surface. Okay, we don't need that anymore. We don't need that anymore. I don't need that anymore. Et voilà. And now on the top, I think we're going to add a little bit more of water. Make sure there's enough. And now on the top, you cover the whole top with a lot of cheese. And what do you think? Yes? No? Now? More? Should we put more cheese? Do you put more cheese when you do yours? Et voilà. Don't add salt, because the anchovies are already very salty, so you don't need to add more salt. Maybe at the end, when it's ready, um, you put... Um, and gives you a thumb up. More? She said oh, thumbs thumbs up. Okay, perfect. Thanks, Anne. So maybe, yes, at the end you add some pepper on the top or some of that, again, okay, remember? But I think we're good. So the recipe doesn't say if we have to cover it or not. I would say yes. Just make sure, sorry, just make sure nothing burned. And then if there is still a lot of liquid when it's ready, you just open that and the liquid, the water, the leftover of the water will evaporate. You have to make absolutely sure that your fennel are really, really well cooked. The only way to do it with a fork or, or a, a knife, you just pick like that. If you don't feel any resistance, it's fine. 
if you have the feeling there is no more steam coming from uh, the saucepan, you just add a little bit more water for the cooking. You put that on the stove here, very, very low. We have time. Very low, and you let it cook like that. So again, huh? you put you put on the bottom some uh, water. You make sure it's covered. There is steam here. If there is no more steam here, what's, what's, what you, how do you call that again? Lid. Lid. Yes. If there is no more ste steam on the lid, add a little bit of water if it's not cooked, and to make sure if it's perfectly we perfectly cooked, you add. A little bit, but no. I lost what I'm saying. Oh, she said half of the time with no lid. Don't let it go too dry. Yes, but that. Yes, but then, yeah, that's what you said, right? Yes, yeah. I, I said you keep the lid like that. Yeah, you yeah. Cook at the beginning, and then when you feel it's it's well yeah. cooked, you remove the lid, and the water will evaporate, okay. and that yeah. will be. That I was will just, be, um, just figured out. Because if you don't put the lid, I think it can get dry very quickly, and 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 maybe burn and things like that. The lid keeps the steam inside and the steam is going to cook. And it's going to be extremely tasty because you have butter, anchovy, cheese. So there's no um, doubt about that. Et voilà. First trip in Italy is over. Now, where are you going? I leave the promotion for my lover. So Stephen, who is just behind the camera all the time, He's an artist and he's making sculptures like that. He's sculpting dogs in dogs in many situations, position, action, I don't know. And next week on Wednesday, it's his birthday. And he's extremely, extremely sad because he doesn't have friends. I'm the only friend. I do have friends, they're just not here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he doesn't have friends with him. So I'm, I'm quite sure we'll end in a, in a Zoom party or something like that, maybe, probably. So, starting today, if you go on his Instagram, Dogs I Have Painted, and you look at his sculpture, and you repost one of his sculptures, he will put your name on the hat, and Wednesday, the 22nd of April, um, he will pick someone, and you will win. And you're doing a this. special episode. And yes, I will make a special episode of cooking, we we'll probably make dog food, the real dog food that day, a meal for dogs, and, um, and, uh, and you can win this. And in addition to that, if you make a donation to New York City Food Bank, um, your name will be twice in the hat. Is that correct? Yes. That was good? Yes, thank you. Perfect. So <laughs> go see his Instagram account, Dogs I Have Painted, uh, or you can find it on, on my Instagram, it's very easy and follow the instruction and this may be yours and I don't know if you can see but this is his portrait. Well, inspired. <laughs> really you. It's really me. Is that what it yes, looks like? It's really you. Okay, so we are good for today. Thank you very much. Do you have any questions? Are there are questions? No. No questions? No. Okay, perfect. So remember this video and the recipe will be on my stories for 24 hours, then on my YouTube channel forever. Um, and um, I'll see you on Thursday for another recipe sent by Anne Mourier from Venice, um, uh, bacalao, this um, salted coat fish. I have to practice that a little bit. And I have a special delivery um, tomorrow of a homemade um, bacalao also. So I'm very happy about that. Remember, you can ask me questions on uh, private messages if you want. Um, thank you so much. That was fast. I can't uh, wait to um, have that. Oh, look, you see the steam here? Now it's... Let me show you. Do you want me to... No, 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 coming. You see, mm -hmm. it's really steamy now. That's perfect. That's exactly what we want. Let perfect. it cook. Just slowly, slowly like that. I would say it's maybe half an hour, 45 minutes, um, something like that. But again, you have time, go get a glass of wine, listen to Adriano Celentano, and I see you Thursday, 1 p.m. for another recipe from Anne Maurier, who is in Venice, and we are in Brooklyn, and we love you, Anne. 
very, very much. We miss you a lot. Bye. Ciao.